We all know by now that this draft class of 2021 is something special. Players from all over, whether from the G League, college, or overseas have shown that they can potentially be franchise players in the NBA right out the gate. And aside from the supposed number one overall pick Kay Cunningham going to the Pistons, we really weren't sure what the rest of the draft would look like because the rest of the guys are so good in their own ways. But news recently broke that the Houston Rockets with their second overall pick might just have their mind made up. And as you guys know by the title and thumbnail, it's Jalen Green. And to say that this pick could make the Rockets one of the best teams in the NBA in the future is an understatement. Today, we have to talk about Houston Rockets and the NBA draft because things are getting very interesting, and the Rockets might just be one of the best teams set up for success after this summer. But before we get into that, if you've been enjoying the content, it would be absolutely clutch if you subscribed if you're new and joined the Woods crew. Fun fact, over 95% of you guys who have been watching the videos consistently aren't even subscribed. So if you just hit that sub button below, I could go full time very soon and make videos like this every single day. The Houston Rockets have definitely been one of the most interesting teams to keep up with in the past year. I mean, just think about it. This franchise went from being under the control of James Harden who proceeded to throw a fit and leave, to now being set up to have one of the best young cores in the league after the draft. Although I believe the Rockets did in fact mess up the James Harden trade, being that they didn't get back as much as they could have in return, what they did outside of this is why I believe they have a very bright future. And it all starts with them acquiring Kevin Porter Jr. from the Cavs. It's no secret that Kevin Porter Jr. is one of the youngest players in the league with superstar potential. But after ruining his relationship with the Cavs, they wanted to get rid of him. And the Rockets, well, they basically got him for nothing, which was absolutely huge for them. I find it funny that this franchise was willing to take a chance on a player that caused their team a big headache, being that James Harden just did the same thing to them. But hey, it definitely worked out for this team. So much so that they believe Kevin Porter Jr. is their future, and they plan to build around him because of it. After playing in the G League for a short stint, it was clear that Kevin Porter Jr. just did not belong there, and it was more of a punishment for him. So after dominating, he was pulled up to the Rockets team where he had a huge impact from the start. With the Rockets, Kevin Porter Jr. put up a amazing numbers, averaging 17 points per game and 6 assists as well. Now I know that this didn't translate to wins for this team, but it showed that if they're able to build around KPJ, this team could very well have the potential to dominate in the future. Because of the fact that this franchise is invested in Porter Jr. for the future, it was reported by The Athletic that they are very much considering picking Jalen Green with their second overall pick in the draft this year. I'm not usually one to take these rumors too seriously, but when a reliable source like The Athletic says this, I think there's a very good chance that it's true. It has been clear that KPJ has the star potential that the Rockets were hoping for after having a legendary 50 point game this season. And according to reports, many believe that pairing Jalen Green would be exactly what this team needs and eventually create one of the best backcourts in the league. Up until this point, many believe that the number two overall pick in the draft would be Evan Mobley. I mean, he is one of the best prospects in the draft, being that he's a seven foot versatile defender and rim protector that is what almost every modern NBA team could use. But I guess the talents and potential of Green, who spent last year in the G League Ignite, might just be too good to pass up for for the Rockets. And rightly so. Jalen Green is one of those guards that just looks special when you watch him play. Elite athleticism, good shooting splits, solid defense, he really has everything that this team needs from him and more. With the G League Knights, Green averaged 18 points, 5 rebounds, and a couple of assists a game, which in my eyes shows that he will more than likely translate to the NBA very nicely. But what about the fit for this Rockets team? It has been very clear that the Rockets are rebuilding and they will be taking their time with it. After trading Russell Westbrook for John Wall and getting guys like Christian Wood and Demarcus Cousins, it was clear that without Harden, this team just couldn't win against even some of the middle of the pack teams. With that said, I would not be surprised if this team tries to ship off John Wall in his brutal contract because of the fact that he wasn't even a top guard in the league like he used to be. In my eyes though, there is a very good chance that this team keeps Christian Wood because he is still somewhat young and could be a solid piece for the future of this team. Being that Christian Wood is 6'10", at age 26, he could definitely be the Rockets center for the foreseeable future, which means that they don't exactly need someone like Mobley even though it would be a good pick for this team. And honestly, I don't blame the Rockets here because all their success in recent years has been fueled by guards. Even though it hasn't led to any chips, this team has been able to take guys like Harden, Westbrook, Chris Paul, and more to deep playoff runs. And in my eyes, this franchise just wants to stick with what they know best. If Christian Wood can run the center for this team, or they can get someone like Jared Allen in free agency, the Jalen Green pick actually makes a lot of sense in my eyes. Because for the Rockets, that would leave them with a young starting lineup of Jalen Green, Kevin Porter Jr., Jay Sean Tate, Kenyon Martin Jr., and Christian Wood at the center, or someone else they could pick up in free agency. Now, would this be the starting lineup for the Rockets next season? Not necessarily, but two of the guys I mentioned are 26 years old and the rest are 20 or under. So that means that this team would have one of the youngest and most promising starting lineups in the league if they added green. I think this is most definitely the right move for this team, especially if they can get a young center and free agency like I mentioned. Because we've seen time and time again that this is a guards and forwards league. So if the Rockets want to set themselves up for long-term 
long-term success, this pick is what they should make in my eyes. Aside from the Jalen Green news, I think we should talk about the Rockets' other needs and musts this offseason, because I'm not sure when my next video on this team will be. Like I said though, it was clear that John Wall was a shell of what he used to be, and with the Rockets more than likely picking Jalen Green, I think that this team should trade him, because not only is he a tremendous overpay, but also an injury liability at this point. Wall would be very hard to move because he is one of the most overpaid players in the league, but I could see a world in which the Rockets make a trade with someone like the Pelicans for overpaid players as well. Just to throw some names out there, Steven Adams and Eric Bledsoe. At the surface of this deal, it may not seem like a good one for the Rockets to make. But keep in mind that Steven Adams is on an expiring deal, so this would free up a lot of cap space for the Rockets a lot quicker, which in turn could help them out in upcoming free agency. John Wall is a solid player despite his unbearable contract, but if this team picks green, they will have their guards for the future, which doesn't give much incentive to hold on to Wall. Wall is not the only one this team should get rid of though, because there have been some players on expiring deals that the Rockets should not invest in for their long-term future. In my eyes, guys like Kelly Olynyk and Dante Exum should not be brought back for this team because they just aren't on the same timeline as the young core. Although this team will have some cap space restrictions because of the fact that John Wall is on their roster, I think that they could have enough space to sign a young stud to a big deal if they do what I mentioned. And there are a few guys available that would add to the potential of this team even more. It's no secret that this free agency class this year is far from good star players wise, but I think a lot of people are sleeping on the young talent that will be available for teams like the Rockets that want to kickstart their rebuild. I already mentioned the rim protecting center Jared Allen, but there are a few more young players entering free agency I think the Rockets should target. This franchise definitely has a few routes they could go which is good, because they could either draft a guard like the rumors are saying and sign a young center, or do vice versa. If the Rockets decide to draft Green, which at the moment is the most likely scenario, they will have a few very interesting big men they could target in the 2021 free agency. In an ideal world, this team makes a move and signs Jared Allen, who could be the rim protector just in case KPJ and Green aren't the best defenders. But there is also another guy that might be an even better signing than Jared Allen that player being Rashawn Holmes of the Kings. It's no surprise that yet another promising player will be leaving the Kings this offseason because they just can't get it together and win. Not to mention that Holmes is worthy of a solid deal that this team just can't afford. Although Holmes isn't the modern day floor spacing center, he has shown that he can be a quality starter, and at age 27, could be a part of the Rockets for the next handful of years, and be the big man they need. Holmes has an elite floater game, and if this team can't convince Jared Allen to sign, this would be a solid option. Another big man on the market this summer is Mitchell Robinson of the Knicks, and although he hasn't proved himself like Holmes and Allen have, he fits on the timeline of the younger guys a lot more, so it's something to consider for the Rockets. The Knicks do have the cap space to match a deal from the Rockets, but they might not want to, being that they are looking to make a big splash for a big name this offseason. But aside from that, even though the Rockets are rumored to pick Green with the draft this year, there is a solid chance that they could pick Mobley instead, and in this case, there are a few young guards that they could target in free agency that would get them the great young core. With KPJ able to play either guard, this gives the Rockets a lot of flexibility, but in my eyes, there is only one guy the Rockets should target. That player being Taylor Horton Tucker of the Lakers. With Horton Tucker having a unique contract, he's already a restricted free agent at the age of 20, and with what he's shown that he can do, there's a very good chance that teams will overpay for him so they can lock him in for years to come. THT is just one of those special builds that you don't see often with guards, and with his insane wingspan and hand size, he's built to be one of the best two-way guards in the league by far. If the Rockets were to offer Taylor Horton Tucker a slight overpay long-term deal, they would have their guards for the future locked in, and you can't deny that Tucker and KPJ would be a nasty duo for years to come. There are also also other guys this team could target like Gary Trent Jr. or Duncan Robinson, but honestly, the only reason they pass on Green in this instance is if they want Taylor Horton Tucker badly and Mobley as well. To say the least, it will be very interesting to see what the Rockets decide to do and if they're able to attract any young talent to their team in free agency, because in my eyes, that is the key to speeding up their rebuild and setting them up for the future right. No matter what the Rockets do, they have the second pick in the draft, so it's safe to say that they'll be winners this offseason regardless of what they do. But if you want to see my version of the mock draft in the case that the Rockets take Mobley, feel free to click on this video that's popped up on the screen right now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Woods out.